hello guys and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful and trendy structured sleeve so if this is what you are interested in stay with me on this video guys this is actually my first official cutting and sewing video like i changed my channel to a regular from a regular channel to a cutting and sewing tutorial channel and also a diy channel so thank you for staying with me and if you are new here kindly subscribe so i'm going to be working with this african print it's an adira print and right here i'm taking my measurements the length of the sleeve with the folding allowance is going to be 12 then this person's arm hole is torn 20 and because she doesn't want it too voluminous like she doesn't want the structured sleeve too big i had that just five inches if you want it very very big and pronounced you can add as much as 10 inches you can add 8 inches after the 20 inches up which is the arm hole so I folded my fabric into four because I'm cutting for the right hand and the left hand at the same time. So I folded my fabric into four and I went ahead to measure the hand round at that point. Since I'm using the whole of my fabric, I just left it like that. Then I measured three. This three is the part that I'm going to be pleating before measuring the ham hole so at this point i'm measuring the ham hole 10 because i folded my fabric into two for each hand i divided it by two which gives me 10 if not the ham hole is 20 and the remaining allowance is what i'll be extending to get the volume of the structured sleeve then i joined my cap line so to call the the puff allowance i joined it to the ham hole like that and i went ahead to cut it out this video like this style is actually very beginner friendly it's not something too stressful to achieve then i just splitted it up at that part to give me the two sleeve two sleeves and i went ahead to make a notch at the upper part of the shoulder so that when i'm sewing i'll be able to notify where I should fall at the joining of the neckline after then i went ahead to cut the lining cutting the lining doesn't require so much calculation is just to place the fabric on the lining and then just trace it out leaving making the fabric like one inch longer than the lining so that when i turn it in it doesn't start coming out on that and then i went ahead to cut the second one so the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be adding my interfacing if you like you can add your interfacing on just the fabric and if you want it so structured you can add your interfacing on the fabric and the lining then for my interfacing i'll be using this hardest gum stay the hardest gum stay is the best for this type of sleeve and I added it to my lining and my fabric. After gumming, I went ahead to like make it like one inch short at the round sleeve part so that when I'm turning, it's going to come out very, very easy. Like it won't give me problem turning it out after stitching it together. So I went ahead to stitch my lining and um, my fabric together like this. I sew it like this so that when i want to turn it all the joining like the sewing allowance will be inside it will not show outside i don't know if you get what i'm saying guys but that is the best way to sew it to make your work so neat and perfect then i fold it the way i'm doing in this video i went i had to run a straight stitch at that place my finger ran across it's that simple it's nothing serious to worry about i i ran a straight stitch for the two sleeves then I went ahead to turn it in, like bring it out. It might be a little bit hard and difficult. Just maneuver it and you scale through. So for the ironing, I did not place my iron directly on the fabric, like just iron out the way you would iron a dress or any other thing on a good day. See the way I'm, I ironed it, ironed it inside, just the way I'm doing so that my cone can still like retain its structure, like so that doesn't just the iron doesn't just flatten it down i don't know if you understand so that's like the best way to iron it so that it doesn't go out of shape and that was exactly what i did in this video 
guys if you stayed with me from the beginning of this video to this point please don't forget to subscribe and share my video as much as you can and give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section so after ironing the next i'll do is gathering that three inches i left at the beginning i will gather it i'll take it to my sewing machine i'll pleat it or probably gather it to give me that puffy effect at the upper part like at the shoulder part so you can see after ironing the sleeve is already giving like it's already giving that cone structure even when i've not fixed it to the dress so i'll just gather that three inches i trimmed out the excess allowance i did not want obviously you have to do that then i measured the ham hole from that point upward after measuring my 20 which is 10 what is remaining is the three inches and that's what i went to please that's with what i went to gather together so i did that for the two sleeves i just used the measure the measurement of the first one to get the second one i didn't want to go through the stress of using the pull again i just placed the first one i marked on the second one i marked and then i went ahead to make my gathers my pleats so i already made my pleat here like it's looking so perfect the sleeve is already giving what it's supposed to give and basically the video is almost over so basically that's it for the trendy cone sleeve hope you've learned something new thank you for staying with me from the beginning to the end of this video i'll definitely see you in my next video bye bye